If your AI voice sounds like this, and you want to make it sound like this, this is for you. If you're tired of robotic AI voices that make your content sound lifeless, then you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to make your AI voiceovers sound natural and engaging so people won't click away after the first few seconds. This is the exact process I use to make my AI voiceovers sound human, and I'll guide you through each step from voice selection to editing techniques. Today, I'm going to walk you through every single step on how to take an AI-generated voice and transform it into something so realistic that people won't even know it's not a human speaking. And for those of you wondering about the process I use to enhance my own voice, I'm revealing all my secrets here. You'll learn how to use punctuation like exclamation marks, commas, and even capital letters strategically to build suspense, excitement, and realism into your voiceover. We're diving deep, covering everything from selecting the right voice to applying advanced editing techniques that will make it sound genuinely human. Stick around, because at the end, I'll also share some important tips on monetizing content with an AI voice. Let's dive in. Step one, setting up your AI voice. First things first, imagine you're setting up your YouTube channel and you know exactly the vibe you want. Maybe it's tech tutorials, soothing ASMR, or perhaps motivational content. The first step to making a voice sound truly convincing is to select a high quality AI voice that matches your brand. And for this, we're going to Eleven Labs. If you haven't used Eleven Labs yet, Here's what makes it essential. It allows you to choose from high quality AI voices or even create a custom one, giving you a great foundation to start from. You might be wondering, why do I need an AI voice if I'm going to edit it later? Well, starting with a professional sounding voice saves you time and gives you a base that's easy to enhance with a personal touch. Head over to the link in the description to sign up. Once you're logged in, Simply paste the script you want to turn into audio. For this demo, I'm using a sample script. Then, go to the voice options. Here, you can either design your own custom AI voice or select from the available pre-made voices. Today, I'll use a voice named Charlie, the one I used in my first video. Once you've chosen, generate the audio and download it. Step two, importing the audio. All right, now that you have your raw AI audio, it's time to bring it to life. Open up Lexus Audio Editor, a free app available on the Play Store. If you're new to it, don't worry. I'll guide you through every step. Go to Open, then select the downloaded audio file from your recent downloads, and voila! The AI voice is now ready for editing. To give you an idea of the transformation we're aiming for, I'll play the voice in its unedited form first. AI voices to sound more professional enhances clarity, builds trust, and ensures better audience engagement. Imagine you're an audience member hearing this monotone voice for the first time. It's clear, but it lacks warmth, natural pauses, and those subtle tones that make it sound real. That's what we're going to fix. Now, let's dive into the editing. Step three, adding effects for realism. Here's where the magic happens. Our goal is to take this plain AI voice and make it unique, relatable, and impactful. So let's start with the first effect, pitch adjustment, optional. Go to the Effects menu and select Change Pitch. Adjusting the pitch just slightly can make your AI voice sound unique. For a richer tone, lower the pitch slightly. Editing AI voices to sound more professional enhances clarity. For a lighter tone, raise it. Editing AI voices to sound more professional enhances clarity. I like to adjust it by one to two steps max. Play with it to find what sounds best for you but don't overdo it, or it'll sound unnatural. Next, go back to Effects and choose Change Tempo. This controls the speed. AI voices often sound slow and mechanical, so increasing the tempo a bit can add naturalness. Try setting it to plus one or plus two for a subtle speed boost, then click Apply. You'll notice a slight improvement, but we're just getting started. Speed Adjustment. In Effects, select Change Speed. This effect is particularly helpful for voices that are too slow. I recommend increasing it slightly, somewhere between plus one and plus two, to avoid a choppy sound. Test it out and once you're happy, apply the effect. Step four, using the equalizer for a richer tone. The equalizer is where your AI voice will really start to come alive. Open it and you'll see several bars. Increasing the left bars adds bass for a warmer sound, while adjusting the right bars adds treble, making the voice sound clearer and more dynamic. 
I like to balance both for a full-bodied, natural tone. It may take a bit of experimentation, so listen to the playback as you make adjustments. Below the equalizer, there's a pre-amplifier slider. Increasing this slightly will give your voice a stronger presence. Just watch the decibel level. You don't want it too high. Aim to keep it around 8 to 10 decibels, then save these settings as a preset so you can use them anytime. Step 5. Compression for Consistency The compressor effect is your best friend for giving your AI voice that professional, balanced quality. By smoothing out volume variations, compression helps the voice sound natural and cohesive. I adjust the threshold between negative 14 and negative 18 and leave the other settings as default. Once you're satisfied with how it sounds, save it as a preset and click Apply. Now we're almost there. Step 6. Reverb for Depth Finally, we're going to add a reverb effect. This helps make the voice sound as if it's recorded in a real space, giving it depth and warmth. In Reverb, adjust the room size to around 150 and set the reverb time between 4 to 6 seconds. Keep the damping around 50 to 60, set input bandwidth and dry level to zero, and tweak the reflection level and tail based on your taste. Just listen to the playback and go with what feels right. Once you've applied the reverb, give it a final listen. Your voice should sound more lifelike, rich, and professional. Editing AI voices to sound more professional enhances clarity. Step 7. Adding emotion to your realistic voiceover. Now, you've mastered generating a unique and realistic AI voice. But here's the big secret. If you want to create a voiceover that truly engages, you need to make it sound like it's speaking with genuine emotion. This is where the magic of storytelling comes in, and it's what will keep your audience hooked, feeling like the voice is talking directly to them. In this section, we're going to go even deeper than we have before, taking your AI voice from sounding real to feeling real. Imagine your audience is on an emotional roller coaster with every word you say. You'll know exactly how to make your AI voiceover express excitement, suspense, sadness, or joy, all with simple yet powerful tricks. And if you stick around, I'll even reveal the exact marks and edits I use in my scripts to add these emotional cues seamlessly. Ready? Let's dive in. Start by heading over to Eleven Labs again and load the script you want to enhance with emotion. As you read through it, mentally picture yourself telling a story that means something to you and mark down any moments where the tone should shift. For example, if there's a key discovery in your script, add an exclamation mark to bring out a sense of excitement if there's a part that requires thoughtfulness or a pause, add a comma to simulate a natural breath. Here's a practical way to do this. Imagine you're telling a friend something surprising or important. You might start slow, build suspense, and then deliver the key point with emphasis. To bring this into your script, use punctuation creatively. Commas, periods, exclamation points, and question marks all work on roars. Want to add emphasis? Try capitalizing certain words that need a bit more punch. Words like finally, discovered, or secret become more powerful when the AI voice knows to stress them. Once you've marked up your script, it's time to adjust the settings for emotional expression. In Eleven Labs, go to the settings for stability and similarity. For stability, setting it between 45 and 50 helps the voice sound less robotic, giving it room to vary with your punctuation. Similarity should stay around 70 to 80, this range keeps the voice consistent, but allows subtle shifts in tone, so it sounds like it's actually reacting to the story. With your adjustment set, generate the audio and listen to it. By the end of this process, you'll have a voiceover that doesn't just tell a story, it makes your listeners feel it. Bonus. AI voice monetization. Tips. Now before we wrap up, let's touch on an important point. AI voice monetization. While making an AI voice sound more human can help with viewer engagement, it isn't necessarily a requirement for monetization. YouTube's main concern is content originality and a human touch, so even without editing, many AI channels can still get approved. However, if you're aiming to stand out, edited voices can give your videos a unique flair. Just remember that not all AI voices need heavy editing, so if yours already sounds good, you can skip certain steps. By the way, if you want to save all that time of starting a YouTube or TikTok channel from scratch, and you want to start earning money right now, from your first video, I recommend TikTokCounts.com. There you can get your YouTube or TikTok channel monetized and ready to make money. You have the link in the description or in the pinned comment. So there you have it. I walked you through my full AI voice editing process. Experiment with these steps. 
save your settings as presets, and refine the process for your own voice style. And if you found this guide helpful, don't miss out. Check out my next video where I show you how to give your AI voice expressive emotions, and make sure to subscribe for more insights.